Hello, everybody. Welcome to OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. I am your host and instructor, Michael. And today we're going to go more in depth into how to write an email and how to write a cold email for ESL learners and even online uh, business English learners as well. Okay, so I want to go into this very quickly. Something I want to talk about uh, or something that we talked about in the previous uh, last two videos is greetings and openers as well as closings, right? I will make another video in the future about body paragraphs, right? What you want to say to somebody who you want to sell to or maybe you want to reach out to or maybe you, you want to communicate in a very effective way in English. But I think I want to cover uh, the most important parts of the email. I think most people get wrong, especially because I, I have a lot of students that message me and they approach uh, the situation very incorrectly. And I think this is a very formal and more educated way and how to approach somebody if you want something from that individual. Okay, so let's go over the greetings and openers. Incorrect way, which is usually the informal way of saying hey there or hello or hi or yo, what's up? These are very informal because they're not really addressing the person, right? When you email somebody, there's there's a very difference between email and texting. Right. Texting can be a little bit more informal, right? When you're doing more uh, maybe social media. But even with social media, there has to be some form of like you understand who the person is, right? You can't just say hi, right? Because from that approach, it's very informal, right? You are not doing your research, you're not doing your uh, due diligence, as they say, to con. Uh, contact and connect with the individual that you're trying to uh, uh, reach out to, right? So saying, hey there, hello, hi, hey, yo, what's up, is very informal. So avoid saying these within your email or even your text when you're trying to contact the teacher or you're trying to contact uh, somebody on a professional level, right? The correct way is actually saying hello, the person's name, either their full name or their even their first name. So you can say hello, teacher Michael, right? Or you can say to or another another form is that if you do not know what the person's name is, you can say to whom it may concern. That means you do not know the person's name. Let's say that you do not know um, you're trying to contact somebody like we previous previously talked about in McDonald's, right? So let's say that you're trying to contact somebody from McDonald's for a position at McDonald's to say, to whom it may concern, I blank, 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 right? So you can use this to, you usually use this when you do not know somebody, right? When you do not know somebody, when you do not know the person, right? You don't know their name. You don't know the last name, but it's okay. You can use to whom it may concern. Another thing is that another strategy is saying hello company name. Say, for example, that you're trying to contact me. You can say hello, uh, instructor of online English teacher.com. I read you, I watch your YouTube videos. I like them a lot. So another strategy here is just contacting the company name. So hello, Sony, hello, McDonald's, hello, um, YouTube, hello, Google, hello, whoever the company is, or team, right? You can also contact the team. Then you can say the hello team, right? So when you're the correct way of using an opener is specifically contacting the person's uh, name specifically or if you do not know their name you say to whom it may concern right you're saying that all right whoever can find this email i'm contacting you or another way is that you're saying that hello the company's name 
like McDonald's or corporations, whoever, I'm contacting contacting you to let you know that I have something to tell you, right? So it's very important that you cover that. And in the closing, oftentimes in the closing, um, I don't see that a lot of people do this incorrectly. I see people do the opening incorrectly more than the closing. But with the closing, you don't want to be informal, right? Informal is that you're speaking in a way that is not academically correct. You're speaking in a way that is maybe either jargon or... Um, uh, a lower level of education or just speaking in a way that is not usually normally associated with people on a, on a professional level, right? The correct way, these are some options right here. You don't have to use all of them. You just have to use one of these. Same thing with the openers. You just use one. You know, best regards. Take care. Sincerely yours. Respectfully. All the best, hear from you soon, right? So we're gonna look at this very quickly in an example. So right here, here are the two examples with the openers. Hello, Michael Covarrubias, which is my name. See if let's say they're trying to contact me, say hello, Michael Covarrubias, right? Or hello, Professor Michael, hello, Professor Covarrubias, right? This goes back to the opener. The person's name, or even you can say hello, hello, who? Oops, sorry. Let me get this organized. Hello to online English teacher.com. Right? I like what you did with your YouTube channel, and I noticed that you don't have a wide variety of videos, compilation, clips of best moments, etc. Surely you can you can take your channel to the next level and get more views with, from your videos. I spent a couple of years helping people improve their video or their YouTube channels and creating engaging content for them and making content catchy so that they get some more clicks and view, and higher views. We could work together if we, we talk and come to an agreement via phone or Skype. Does this sound like, does this, does that sound reasonable? Let's discuss on Skype or phone. Here's my Skype. Well, this should be Skype right here. Fake one, two, three, which is not a real Skype. What's yours? Best regards, Michael. So I'm going to go back to this. For the opener, we use a person's name in this situation. Right, which is hello, Michael Corrubias. And also, as well, we use the company name, hello, online English teacher.com. So, when you're structuring your openers, you can use these correct methods, right? So, a person's name, if you do not know the name, you can use to whom it may concern. Or if you know the company's name, you can say hello, online English teacher, hello, Sony. Hello, McDonald's, etc. With closers, here are some best options. Depends on what you're trying to say. Best regards. Best regards is if you're trying to say something hopeful. Take care. Is that you're saying that you hope to hear from them soon, and you wish the best for them. Sincerely yours is that you're signing off your name and you're letting them know that you're sort of important. Respectfully is when you're trying to say like I'm respecting your time and hope you respect my time as well all the best is that i wish you wish you success and i wish myself success as well here from you soon is letting you know that you expect to hear a reply from them soon something i uh, i think was also incorrect from students is that hope to hear from you soon uh, the problem when you use hope to hear from you soon is that hope means that the possibility is low. Hope means it's some it's a, it's like a chance of something happening that you're you you are letting fate decide your outcome. 
it's best not to use hope to hear from you soon because you're you're essentially saying to your prospect or the pe- person that you're emailing that hope is dictating your success and you really don't want that to happen right so with this email that we send we say hello to online english teacher.com right let's say you don't know my name and the closing would be best regards just saying thank you for reading my email michael right so these two are very important to structure your email in a very effective way to get people's attention um something i always tell students is that you want to design your email in a way that all parts work together. Every, the opener, the body, and the closer work together to help you get more success with your email, right? Because if one of these fail, let's say that we use yo, yo, I say, yo, I, I like what you did with your YouTube channel. This sends a negative attitude, right? All right, this sends a negative attitude if I say, yo. But let's change it back to hello to onlyenglishteacher.com. Let's change the bottom of this. I hope to hear from you soon. I hope to hear from you soon sounds very desperate, all right? Because even though this sounds very professional here, uh, right here, this area sounds very unprofessional. It sounds like you are very needy, right? In communication, in business English, you have to communicate in a way that is effective, uh, gets what you want, and Communicates your idea concisely. That means to the point. You have to communicate your uh, your idea to the point, and that engage the reader to what you are trying to offer them, and give them an opportunity to meet with you. Right. So if you're not doing that, then you're really making your emails much more weaker. Right. So what I would recommend that you guys do, please look over these email, uh, um, please look over these examples and see what's incorrect, what's correct on both the greeting and the closer, okay? And I will recommend that you guys write these down and even write several examples of your own, okay? So I hope you guys find this useful. Remember to please like this video, leave a comment down below, and you can always you guys can always contact me. I'll give you guys a new slide. You guys can always contact me at Easy Tutor eight one eight at gmail dot com. So if you have any questions, message me here. As well, I also have uh, several links in the description to contact me, either through Facebook, Instagram, or other methods. So I hope to hear, hear from you guys soon. Have a good day, and remember to subscribe to this channel so we can have more videos in the future, okay? Take care, and have a good day.